All right, so today we'll be evaluating this expression, e to the d dx of x to the n. Now, before we try and tackle this, let's answer what even this e to the d dx notation means. We can think of this as a Taylor series, recalling that e to the x is the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial, right? And this summation just expands out to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 6, and so on. Instead of using x here, we can plug in d dx to make this an operator. e to the d dx, then, we say, is a summation from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over n factorial times the nth derivative with respect to x of whatever function we're operating on. In this case, we're operating on x to the n. So we can write this as a summation from, since we've already used n, I'm going to use k, from k equals 0 to infinity of 1 over k squared times the nth, or sorry, the kth derivative with respect to x of x to the n. Now, I'm going to expand out this. For k equals 0, we have 1 over 0 factorial times the 0 with derivative with, res of, with respect to x of x to the n, plus 1 over 1 factorial times the first derivative of x to the n, plus 1 over 2 factorial, the second derivative of x to the n, plus 1 over 3 factorial of the third derivative of x to the n, and so on. Now let's go ahead and evaluate this differentiation. We have 1 over 0 factorial times the 0 with derivative of x to the n. That's just x to the n. Plus 1 over 1 factorial of the first derivative with respect to x of, with respect to x, of x to the n that we're just going to use the power rule. We're going to bring down the exponent and subtract by 1 to get n times x to the n minus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial, the second derivative of x to the n, which is just n times n minus 1 times x to the n minus 2 plus 1 over 3 factorial n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 x to the n minus 3 and so on. Now, we can see sort of a pattern developing here, which means we can rewrite this in summation notation. This is the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of 1 over k factorial times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on. And we do this k times, right? And we can observe, for example, for k equals 0 here, we have these terms 0 times. Here we have it 1 time, 2 times, 3 times, and we continue that. And that matches the index um, k. So we multiply this, then, by x to the n minus k. Now, we'd like to write this in a closed form expression. And, using, and to do this, we can use the idea of a factorial. So remember that n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 and so on. Now, this expression, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 k times, 
we can write that as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, and so on, until we reach n minus k plus 1. And you can verify that this is true by looking at these expressions up here. For example, let's take k equals 3. We have n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. But n minus 2 is just n minus 3 plus 1, and just 2. So we stop there. Cool. Now, this is actually very similar to n factorial. n factorial gives us, we keep going to n minus k plus 1 times n minus k, and we just continue that on until we reach run, until we reach 1, which means that this expression here is actually the same as this right here, except afterward we have this chunk this n minus k times n minus k minus 1 times n minus k minus 2, and so on. In order to get rid of that, we need to divide n factorial by this expression. So we need to do n factorial divided by n minus k times n minus k minus 1 times n minus k minus 2, and so on. And this expression here is actually just n minus k factorial, right? We start with n minus k, and then we just subtract 1, and we keep multiplying, which means that our expression here is uh, just n is just n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. And I'm going to expand this exp exponent out here to x to the n over x to the k. Now, if you've done some work with combinatorics, you know that this right here is just n choose k. So we're going to write that. That's just n choose k times, if we look up here, x to the n, this isn't affected at all by the index k. So I'm just going to bring it outside of the summation. And we're left with x to the negative k. Now, uh, we want to simplify this expression. And to do that, we can remember a Taylor series that we memorized in Calc 2. That is, x plus 1 to the n is equal to the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of n choose k times x to the k. However, um, what we're looking for is a x to the negative k. And the way we deal with that is by plugging in negative 1 into here. Right? We can plug in any function into here, and the Taylor series will still function. So we have 1 over x plus 1 to the n equals the infinite sum from k equals 0 to infinity of n choose k times what, what we put here is 1 over x to the k, or just x to the negative k. So we can plug this into our expression here, and we get x to the n, and then this whole summation is just equal to this closed form solution, x to the n times 1 over x plus 1 to the n. We can simplify this by bringing the n out, so we get x times 1 over x plus 1, all to the n. And distributing the x, we have 1 plus x to the n. That's our final answer, which means e to the d dx of x to the n is x plus 1, all to the n.